Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a quick one on this Dana 44 spindle. So doing the servicing on this, we've got on the back side, we've got this little boot or gasket or whatever the hell you want to call it. It's a seal to keep crap from going down the tube of the axle. And we've got a brass piece here that just comes off. The important part though is there is a roller bearing right in there that has to come out. That bearing is pressed in. I'm going to clean this up and then we'll take a closer look at what we've got going on. It needs a little more cleaning in the solvent tank, but you can see it a lot better now. So we've got this roller bearing right here and it's pressed in from this side. There's a pretty good gap, if I can get the light right here, back behind it. Now, getting this out, there are a few things. First, there's actually a factory service tool that kind of spans across here. I don't remember if it pushes here or here, but then it's got a couple of inside jaws that grab onto this and pull it out. I definitely don't have one of those. I've, certain, I've seen them before, but I definitely don't have one. Another option would be if you've got a slide hammer with a blind hole puller. So basically, it's got a piece that goes in and then a couple of arms that, you know, internally you can screw to tighten out against that. That would make quick work of this too. I also don't have one of those. So, I'm going to attempt to use a long brass drift again. I think, you can see, it falls into that pretty well. So I think I can hit it and tap it all the way out. It'll be interesting to see, but... Let's take it over to the vise and give it a try. And that popped out. That was actually real easy. So you definitely don't need a special tool for this. Just a long brass punch. Aluminum might work too. In fact, steel might even work. Uh, I'm just hesitant to use steel for beating things because... I'd rather the tool give than uh, whatever I'm working on. But this is uh, three quarter inch by probably 12 inch chunk of brass. And that's what the bore looks like when you pull it out. I'll take this over to the solvent tank, get it cleaned up, wire brush everything. And then we'll push a new bearing back into it. All right, I've got it cleaned up. I think I said that this thrust washer was brass before. It's definitely bronze looking at the color, so it's not brass. But you want to inspect it, make sure it hasn't, you know, been ground on or anything. This one looks like it's in perfectly good shape, so I'll reuse it. The spindle, you want to take a look at a few things. First, take a look where that bearing was. Make sure it doesn't look like the bearing is seized up on a shaft and spun in here and damaged that. That's all nice and machined. So that's in good shape. Check these surfaces here. This is where that bronze thrust washer sits here. And then the that gasket or boot sits right here. Those all look really good. And you want to flip it over. This holds a pair of tapered roller bearings. One the, uh, sits here and one sits here. So take a look at those. If a bearing has failed and seized before, these might be all scuffed up. They might be discolored purple. That one looks like it might have a little discoloration, but it doesn't look bad. I suspect an outer bearing has failed on this before and it got hot, but not enough that it did anything to that. It doesn't roll on this. It's just that's where the collar of that outer bearing sits. So the tapered roller you know, sits in a shell. And then it's got an inside collar, and that rides on this. Same thing over here. It's a little pitted here, but that's not bad. Serviceable. One thing that I noticed on this one, though, if you take a look at this face, if you look right up here, you can see it actually goes down in a little bit. So there's definitely been some wear. So the inside bearing on this almost certainly seized up. It failed, and so then that bearing was rotating around, 
and it was just sliding on this, so the back side of the taper. Let me show you what I mean here. This one's out of the differential, but same idea. So this back side sits here, and this was just spinning against that and caused it to eat into it. It hasn't gone real far into it. I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I should replace this one. This is the other side, it hasn't been cleaned up. You can see it actually has similar, but not as bad. This one needs to be cleaned up and I still have to pull the bearing. But So that's the general idea. So inspect all of those areas, make sure it's good. Obviously make sure that these threads are all good. The inside of this bore is not machined, so it's going to be rough. Not a concern. It's just machined here where that bearing goes. Typically the bearing will come as part of a kit. This is the contents of one. This is the old bronze one. They've replaced it with, looks like probably nylon. We've got a seal. The bearing and then this larger seal. So we'll go put this in and then I'll show you where these other pieces go in relation to the spindle and the stub shaft. All right, the bearing is now flush. Interestingly, when I pulled it off, this is where it was at on both sides, but this is incorrect. It needs to go further. This seal that came with the kit needs to go in here as well, the flat side against the bearing, and it needs to be recessed down in here. So we still need to push that bearing, that thickness, down in. And now this seal fits right down inside there. Now that I've got the bearing inside the spindle, we need to reassemble it. I'm going to do it right here on the bench just because it's easier to show you, but typically this would be in the axle when you do all of this. First, you've got to put this V-seal on. The square goes toward this, I think it's called a stone shield, but the, the springy part goes toward the outside. Next goes this thrust washer. If you're using the plastic one or using the, uh, the bronze, you can see it's flat on one side and beveled on the other. The bevel goes toward this joint. So like that. Next goes this little seal. You can see it's got a V-groove, so it's got a flat side and then a V-side. The V-side goes toward this uh, thrust washer, like that. Then you can put this into the axle housing, and then the spindle itself slides down on, and then studs will come through here and you bolt it on. Before I assemble all of that, I'm going to lubricate this with some grease, make sure all of these seals have at least a little bit of lubrication on them, and then put it all together. Last thing to do is to take these flange nuts, put them on, torque it down. They're still a little bit dirty, so I'm going to go clean these up before I put them on. Otherwise, that's all there is to it for today. Thanks for watching.